Hello everybody, Gibbs and Mac here, and today I'm going to be talking about Borderlands the pre-sequel on Next Gen and a remastered collection of Borderlands 2 and Borderlands pre-sequel coming to Next Gen. Now, Gearbox has just released a post on their website and released a trailer for the Handsome Collection for Borderlands. Now, what this includes is it includes Borderlands 2, Borderlands pre-sequel, the season pass for Borderlands 2, all the DLC for Borderlands 2, and in border and in the season pass for Borderlands the pre sequel all on next gen on PS4 and Xbox One and if you want to check this if you want to check this information link in the description to their website and a link in the description to the trailer this is coming from the website I'm gonna read off what they have on the website since we announced Borderlands the pre sequel one of the questions we've gotten most often from our fans is when is it coming to next gen well get your Xbox Ones and PlayStation 4s ready not only is Borderlands the pre sequel coming but so is Borderlands 2. Both titles are making their way over to next-gen consoles in one package as Borderlands, the handsome collection on March 24th, 2015 in North America and in March 27th, 2015 internationally. We're excited to offer fans the handsome collection as it bundles the complete story of the franchise's most iconic villain, Handsome Jack. And all it's done in high definition with high performance and graphical fidelity never before seen on consoles. On top of that, for the first time ever in Borderlands game, the Handsome Collection offers four player local split screen meaning four players can shoot and loot together on a single television. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, this is on March 24th, which is the release, the, na the new release date for GTA 5 on PC. Uh, so they may get some competition there, but of course GTA 5 on PC is only for PC while this is on console. Uh, there may be a few other games coming out on March 24th. I know Battlefield Hardline is coming out March 17th, so that's a week before that. Uh, and then March 27th internationally, which it, I never really understood why Borderlands games always come out like three days later on internationally. Uh, that you know that happened for Borderlands pre-sequel, but it, it still comes out March 24th in North America. It does say that there will be high performance, high definition, and graphical fidelity. So hopefully we can try and get maybe PC graphics. I mean, you know, PC graphics on high, maybe not the max settings on PC. But the thing is, is with the style that Borderlands has always had with the cell shape, with the cell shaded look, you're not really gonna get the best graphics, you know, the most realistic graphics, uh, just because of the cel-shaded comic book look of Borderlands. It also talks about if you've already started Borderlands 2 or Borderlands pre-sequel on PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, or Xbox 360, then you can actually transfer your save file to the next gen. Now, this doesn't talk about PC, so if you have played on PC, I don't think you can go uh, to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, I'll, but you can, you know, transfer your characters, uh, your ranks, your guns, all that. But I don't know if this is, like, if you transfer your character to PlayStation 4 from PS3 and you rank up to max rank on PlayStation 4, if you go back to PlayStation 3, if, the, if that character will be max rank and all the weapons will be saved. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is that you can only transfer your characters from Xbox 360 to Xbox One and PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4 or PlayStation Vita to PlayStation 4. So that it kind of sucks. I mean, I guess that's just the consoles in general, uh, you know. But it is kind of weird how a game like uh, GTA, you can transfer your 360 character to PlayStation 4, and you can transfer your PlayStation 3 character to Xbox One. So I guess that's just Borderlands themselves or the consoles. So next it says, not only are you getting both games for the price of one, sixty dollars, you also get all DLC for Borderlands 2. And that, e that even includes the character customization packs. You also get the ha Handsome Jack Doppelganger pack, the Ultimate Vault Hunter upgrade pack, which ha which has the Holodome Onslaught uh, with the level cap increase and Challenge Arena. You also get the Shock Drop Slaughter Pit. You also have the upcoming Season Pass content and the upcoming Season Pass content. So you get the playable, you get a new playable class once that gets released and the campaign add-ons. Now, if they do head headhunter packs, you may not get those. There's also a Borderlands The Handsome Collection Claptrap in a Box Limited Edition. So that's a collectible thing. I think there's only 5,000 copies of those. This is pretty cool, in my opinion, because uh, Borderlands Pre-Sequel and Borderlands 2 were not on Next Gen. Of course, Borderlands 2 came out a year before Next Gen, before the Xbox One and PS4 came out. But Borderlands Pre-Sequel, for some reason, they released it on 360 and PS3, which in my opinion was a very bad move. 
uh, because the next generation consoles were already out. Maybe they didn't have them optimized by then, uh, but I do think that that was a pretty bad move. Now, we haven't heard much information of these remasters coming to PC, and we don't know what these will change. Because Borderlands 2 and Borderlands Pre-Sequel, they are very similar. I mean, you know, they are very similar in the heads-up display, and while I don't really mind the heads-up display in, Borderland, in Borderlands 2 and Borderlands Pre-Sequel, you know, they are very similar, so I don't really know what they're going to change. Maybe they may nerf some stuff, hopefully not. Or maybe they may buff some stuff. And another thing I don't understand about this is why does this not include Borderlands 1 and even Tales from the Borderlands? Now, I could understand Tales from the Borderlands. You know, that's a Telltale game. I guess Gearbox kind of helped with it. But that was mostly a Telltale game. But at the same time, I think Borderlands 1, you know, that game has been out for a few years now. I don't think that would be too hard of a thing to do. To just remaster that or you know maybe give us you know better graphics and stuff now i have heard that this will have 1080p 60 frames per second i don't know for sure if we will get 1080p 60 frames per second but hopefully we can because i guess you know you can do that on pc but this is kind of cool to see uh they may you give us more information on this at pack south so if we do see borderlands 1 remastered which we probably will because i know that there was a remaster in the works that there have been rumors of a remastered game in the works but i want to really say this is necessarily a remaster this is co this is mostly just uh, bring it on the next gen give us some better graphics and stuff uh, put them all, put them both together. I guess you could call this something like the Master Chief Collection, but this one he has two games, and they probably and we don't know if they'll be on the same disc, or they'll give us or they'll have two discs. I haven't found a way to get this game, uh, just the pre sequel or just Borderlands 2. It seems like if you buy if you want Borderlands pre sequel on next gen, you're gonna have to get Borderlands 2 as well, uh, which is cool. But, you know, it's, you know, $60. Of course, Borderlands Pre-Sequel was just released a few months ago. So, I would like to see more information on this. You know, what we'll actually get. But this is only two months away, so we may not get too much information. Uh, but hopefully we can also get maybe a Borderlands 3, some Borderlands 3 information. We'll probably get more Borderlands 3 information at uh, PAX South or PAX East or even E3. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know it, what you think that they'll remaster and what they'll change, if they will change anything at all. So let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoy. Feedback is always appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video.